Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have Jack in the Box. So typically my sister does make food for me for my mukbangs but we are both in the process of moving so she's already moved out of this apartment and I am in the process of moving out so it's just been like a hectic past couple days so it was just easier to just get Jack in the Box. So I have not done a video on Jack in the Box yet, so I figured I would just try it, especially since breakfast jacks are my legit favorite thing ever. So I'm going to start off with the breakfast jack, which is my absolute favorite. Mmm. I also do have a new setup, so I have a new uh, lens and then I have a new mic. So I hope that everything is sounding and looking okay, but if not, I'm sorry and I'll try to fix it for my next video. It's just kind of hard because I tried testing it out beforehand and it seemed okay, but you never know how a video is going to turn out until you actually go to edit it. So that's what the inside of it looks like. These are like my legit favorite thing of all time. I used to, well I got everything without meat, but I used to get these all the time when I was younger and like, oh my gosh, I still love them. So I'm going to try their, these are like the new, I think they're new, like hash things. Um, they're all different kinds. I got them all without meat, even though every single one does come with meat. So I can't really give an accurate rating based off what they actually taste like, but this is the wakey bakey one, I think. So it has an egg and then hash browns, and some sort of white cheese sauce, I think. Mm. So, yeah, like I said, I have a story time today. Mm. I literally love hash browns so much. Um, so for my story time, it's another one from high school. It's kind of shorter because um, as you guys can probably notice I don't really have as much food in front of me as I usually do. It's basically about the time that my sister and I were chased in a car. So it starts out in high school. So I think I was a junior or senior in high school when this story happened. And so my sister and I shared a car with my dad. So we used to take it to school in the morning, like drive to school with it. And then he worked nights. So he used to drive it at night to go to work. And it just worked out perfectly because like we didn't need it at night and then he didn't need it during the day. And so yeah, that night I had driven a couple of my friends to a party. I forget where it even was, but Randomly during the night we decided that we wanted to go to Safeway. I forget what they needed, but yeah We decided to go to Safeway maybe for food or something like that Because I think Safeway's open 24 hours Okay, so now I'm going to try their croissant. So that's what the outside of it looks like. I think it should taste similar to a breakfast jack, but we'll see. So 
so that's what the inside of it looks like. This is really good. It's actually like pretty flaky. Mmm. Wow. So yeah, anyways, we decided we were going to go to Safeway. And it was me and a couple friends. And then there was this guy that I kind of knew. Like we were friends, but it wasn't like we would ever hang out if we weren't in this like with the same friends if that makes sense so he was in the car too and i think this one is the i don't even know it looks like all the others that's what it looks like and so he was in the car as we were going to Safeway. And then I guess like whatever we, I don't know when it was, like when we either got out of the car to go to Safeway or like got back to the party, he left his jacket in my car. And so I didn't realize until I think the next morning or something that the ja his jacket was in my car. So I texted him because obviously like if you lose your jacket, he, I would assume he'd be like wondering where it was and I didn't want to just like hold on to it. So I texted him, told him I had his jacket and was like, I can give it to you on Monday at school, like I'll just keep it in my car. And he was like, okay, cool, like I'll meet you after school. And so Monday comes around and after school, I remember, I forget if he forgot that time or if he texted me and was like, oh, sorry, I can't make it. But he basically like never came to get his jacket. And so it was just one of those things where like it just kind of stayed in my car for I think like two weeks or so because I was like well if he forgot it like I'm not going to keep harassing him about his jacket like I'll just wait and if he wants it like he can come get it you know and so a couple weeks went by and like eventually my dad like questioned me about the jacket in the car he was like and I just, I don't know if any of you guys will kind of know what I'm talking about, but you know when you just kind of want to stay out of your dad's way, like, if he's, like, irritated about something, it just is, like, you'd rather just do everything in your power to not irritate him further. So, he, like, approached me about the jacket and was like, why is there this jacket that's been in our car for, like, three weeks now? And I explained, you know, like, a friend left it there and he was going to pick it up, but he just hasn't. Mmm, that crunch, though. I think I'll just take these out of the way. Um, and so, and so, yeah, I basically explained to him, you know, that the jacket had just been left in my car and I was, like, trying to get it back to the person, but it just hadn't worked out. And so he was kind of mad about it. It wasn't like he was really mad, but I could tell he was annoyed that the jacket had been there for so long. So I texted my friend again and I was like, hey, my jacket or your jacket is still in my car. Like, when do you think you can come get it? Or like, I can meet you after school again, like just reminding you. And he's like, oh, I totally forgot about it. You know, like I can meet you tomorrow after school to like, in the parking lot because we had like a big parking lot where people pretty much like hung out after school. And so... He was like, I can just meet you in the parking lot after school. And I was like, great. So I told my dad, I was like, he's going to pick it up after school, so it won't be in the car anymore. Okay, so this is their biscuit. So I had the sandwich, or I had their croissant, the breakfast jack, and then they also have like a biscuit type thing. Like that. Mm -hmm. That's what the inside looks like. This is going to sound really weird, but I like when biscuits are kind of dry. Like, I don't know why. I just like how dry biscuits are. So anyways, he doesn't show up after school. I don't even think he texted me that time. I don't know. Apparently he didn't like that jacket. He didn't want it, so I was like, whatever. But I also didn't want to bring it home because I didn't want my dad to be mad at me. And so... 
what my dumbass and my sister's dumbasses decide to do is we're like, well, we'll get rid of it, you know? And instead of throwing it away at school, we start driving. And then we decide what we're going to do. So we're already driving on our way home. We knew our dad was going to be home because usually he got home from work at around that time. And so we're like, okay, so we can't have it in the car when we get home because he's going to be upset. Because we knew our dad was going to be home because he usually would wake up around that time and then, like, kind of get ready to start his day. And so we're like, okay, so we can't have the jacket when we get home, so we have to dispose of this. Naturally, instead of throwing it away at school, we decided not to do that. And so we're just driving home and we see like, there's like a little side, well we don't see, there's like a whole bunch of little side streets like, cause I lived in the suburbs. Um, so it's basically just like side streets of neighborhoods. And so we're like, well we're j we'll just turn down one because people's garbages are out and we'll just throw it away in someone's garbage. <sighs> And so I'm driving, and Sarah's the one that's going to dispose of the jacket, so, she, so she's in the passenger seat, and we just pull over to the side of the road, and we see someone's garbage is out on the street, it's like garbage day or whatever, so we're like, okay, so we'll just throw it away really fast in here, and get away. And so she gets out of the car to go throw it away, and as soon as she gets out of the car, I see this big white truck pull into the side street we were on. And so, I just got a bad feeling in my stomach immediately, like, I don't know, I just, like, felt like we were going to get in trouble. And so I was like, Sarah, like, get in the car, like, you know, come on. She's like, what? And I'm like, someone just pulled down the uh, road. So she's like, oh, shit. And so she hops in the car, and we start driving away, and I'm like, okay, like, we're going to be fine, you know? We got away, we disposed of the jacket, we're good. Nope. The car keeps following us, and so at first I'm like, you know, maybe they live farther down this street, you know, like, there's no way they're actually following us about this jacket thing. And so I decided that I'm going to park, like, the sides of this street were kind of gravel, so it wasn't like a sidewalk, like a nice sidewalk, it was just gravel that kind of led up to the houses. And so I just park, like, facing someone's house in the gravel. And I'm just like, okay, I'll wait for this car to pass. Because it was a dead end. Like, literally, the street was a dead end, so I couldn't keep going if, even if I wanted to. So I was like, my best bet is to just park, and then hopefully this white truck will park, and that'll be that. But, no, that doesn't happen, obviously. Because why would I be able to get away with just throwing a freaking jacket away? So then the white truck doesn't keep driving, it pulls literally, so Sarah's in the passenger seat and I'm parked like this, it pulls like next to Sarah's side and I look over and it's this man and he is pissed, like you can just tell in his face that he is pissed and I don't even know to this day whether or not the garbage bin was his or if he just thought we were like fucking with someone's property, I don't know because like obviously I never talked to him but I'm like, oh, hell no. And so I I drive like, the truck was a 1995 Ford Ranger, and so it's not fast at all, and it's also a manual. And so I like put it in reverse, sp like spin out as fast as I can in reverse, like around his car, and then just like speed out of the um, like little alley road type thing. And I didn't think he was going to follow us because... Like, that's crazy. Why would you follow? He was probably, like, 40. Like, why would you follow two teenage girls? So this is the jalapeno one, I know for sure, because it has jalapenos in it. Mm. And so, he starts following us. <laughs> There's nothing more terrifying than looking in your rear view mirror and seeing his big, looming white truck following us. And so I zoom out onto the street going as fast as I can as fast as my poor little red truck will take me which is not very fast and we end up hitting a red light and when he's when we're at the red light he's legit taking photos of our license plate like I can see him behind us with his phone out like taking pictures of our car and then like I should have 
like at this point it's kind of scary the fact he's chasing us like I should have called the police but like in my mind I'm like I just would trespass and use someone's garbage like I'll get in trouble too so which is stupid like they're not gonna care they're all, the only thing they're gonna care about is that some creepy old man is like chasing us and so I'm like shit 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 like we're at the red light I'm like turn green you know like freaking out And, and so the light turns green, and so we just continued to, well, I just continued to drive on the same road because it was a single lane road, and so I thought that would be better than him, like, being able to pull up next to us. And so we drive for a little bit, he's still following us, and then we hit a four-way stop that's, like, right before you get up, like, to get to my parents' house, there's, like, this windy hill kind of you have to go up. And so we get to a four-way stop, I go, and he has to wait for other people to go, and so I get, like, a split second, like, of time for me to, like, kind of get away from him. Because he has to wait, like, at the four-way stop or whatever. And so, you know, in Windy Hills, like, if you're familiar, uh, if you're familiar with them, it's easier to navigate going up them but if you don't know how to navigate it it's like a lot harder because you're just not sure like where it's gonna turn and so I'm pretty sure he must have been unfamiliar with the hill because I got like pretty far away from him the reason why I know this so basically I'm like speeding up the hill I know all the turns so I'm going pretty fast so the way that the hill is made for houses to be on is that the driveway to the homes like dip down super steep but the road is up high. So the driveways are almost kind of hidden unless you're familiar with the road and you know where they are. And so I dip down into someone's driveway, trespassing again. <laughs> and at this point I'm like, shit, did I make the wrong decision? Because if he sees us, like we're literally cornered in someone's driveway and there's no way, the driveways are so narrow, there's no way I could even try to like get around him. And so we wait, maybe like, so my camera just died, so I had to like put a new battery in, but, but anyways, I think it was like 30 seconds later that he drove by again. Um, it's hard to like, because I feel like it took forever because we were both so scared, but it couldn't have been more than like 30 seconds. And so I can see out of my side mirror that he like drove by and didn't stop or anything. He just like kept driving, but I still didn't know if we were like safe or not because... I mean like he could be coming back and so we kept waiting which is also t felt like it took forever and eventually like I don't even know maybe like two or three minutes later we see him drive back down the hill and so at this point I'm like okay there he didn't see us like we're good I'm getting the freak out of here I'm not gonna have this person that I'm in their driveway get mad at me for trespassing so I'm just getting the freak out of here and so I just reverse again in my truck and literally drive home and my dad if, I think he watches some of my videos if he watches this he's gonna be like what because we never told him that that happened we just said that we got rid of the jacket and that like we never just never told him we got chased home basically so yeah whenever I drove by that spot like after that I would always look to see if that white truck was there I never saw it, so I don't know if that was, like, his house or what the hell he was mad about, but, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this mukbang. I know it was kind of, like, all over the place because it's just been a very hectic past couple days with moving and everything like that and moving Sarah and, yeah. But I promise once I get into my new spot that things will go back to normal. So I hope you guys enjoyed this mini story time. And yeah, I will see you in my next video.